welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing great. And in this video right here, we're going to be talking about some banks that have remote jobs, okay? So you guys know I used to work in banking, so I always keep my ear to the streets on the different banks that may have remote jobs. And these are gonna be entry level jobs and high paying jobs. So depending on where you are in your career, there will be something for you, okay? So I'm gonna be showing you guys the companies and showing you guys what jobs they have at the time of me filming this video. So when I do post this video, the same jobs that I show may not be available, but they will have some other jobs available for you. Definitely go ahead and check those out. If the job that I do talk about in the video is available, it's gonna be in the description bar for you, okay? So you already know I don't waste any time. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first bank we're gonna talk about is Navy Federal Credit Union, okay? So Navy Federal Credit Union does have remote jobs. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they have. They have a pretty cool career section. And one thing that I like is you're able to check the status of your application if you already applied. So that's really good. That way you're not waiting around to see if you're still under consideration. You can check that, see what's going on and keep it moving. So once you do get to the career site, you will search remote jobs. As you see at the time of me filming this video, they do have the assistant manager, cybersecurity, engineering, data security services. So that's gonna be you know, one of those higher paying jobs. And so you just keep scrolling until you see one you know, that's gonna work for you. As you see here, they also have a senior mortgage underwriter job, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This is gonna be a full-time job right here. And let's see what the pay is on this job. They have a pay of $27.50 to $42 hourly. So that's great pay. So it does say posting end date is May 12th. At the time of me filming this video is June 4th. Job postings are subject to close early or extend out longer than the anticipated closing date at the hiring team's discretion. So they're obviously still hiring for this job. So getting into the details of this job right here, you're gonna be evaluating and underwriting all mortgage loan types offered by Navy Federal Credit Union according to specific state and federal requirements to limit the risk exposure to NFCU's mortgage portfolio. You're gonna analyze required loan documentation and information presented in the mortgage loan request to condition and make appropriate loan decisions based on the acceptability of the credit risk using established guidelines of NFCU, secondary market investors, and applicable state and government regulations. You're gonna work on assignments requiring judgment in resolving issues or making recommendations and identify key issues and patterns and take a broad perspective to solve problems. You're gonna be working under minimal supervision, okay? So with this job, they need you to have three years of experience in underwriting, advanced knowledge of mortgage equity loan processing, advanced knowledge of underwriting process and understanding of applicable criteria, working knowledge of tax returns, effective database and presentation software skills, effective research, and effective skill exercising initiative, effective verbal and written communication, word processing and spreadsheet software skills, and also conducting complex business financial analysis. You'll be working Monday through Friday. And again, you're gonna be working from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., okay? So yeah, that is pretty much the gist of the jobs that they have. Some of the jobs may be state specific, so you will need to make sure that you can work the job in your state. But yeah, definitely go ahead and check them out. Their career section will be in the description bar for you. Okay, so next up we have Flagstar Bank, okay? So I may have featured Flagstar Bank on my channel like two times, but they do have remote jobs as well. And they have an insurance operations team lead, a loss mitigation, single point of contact, senior workforce management reporting analyst. So they do have a few jobs here. Let's go ahead and check out this insurance team lead right here. Work from home in the United States is full time. The pay is gonna be between 19 and $36 an hour, so some pretty good pay there. You're gonna be responsible for enhancing the effectiveness of the mortgage insurance operations department by supporting the leaders, team members, and insurance vendors. The position will be responsible for handling team member inquiries and escalations, assigning tasks and managing workflow cues, providing training and coaching support to the team members, as well as a wide range of support-related tasks for leaders, and you will interact with staff at all levels in a fast-paced environment sometimes under pressure, and you must remain flexible, proactive, resourceful, and efficient 
with a high level of professionalism and confidentiality. With this shop right here, you will need three plus years of experience in mortgage and or mortgage servicing with specific experience in escrow operations, a minimum of one plus years of experience in training, coaching, and mentoring, and a high school diploma, GED, or foreign equivalent, written and oral communication skills, good attention to detail, intermediate experience with Microsoft Office, be able to work quickly and multitask, also experience in loan servicing systems such as MSP is preferred, and the ability to learn and adapt to changing technologies, okay? So yeah, definitely go ahead and check this one out. And these companies most likely will provide you with the equipment, so that's not something that you're gonna have to worry about. So let's go ahead and move on to the next bank, and the next bank is gonna be US Bank, okay? So I've featured them on the channel plenty of times. They've probably been featured on YouTube plenty of times by plenty of work from home job YouTubers. They do hire for remote jobs all the time. I've actually interviewed with them for a customer support position. You're gonna have to do probably about three interviews and they kind of get back to you pretty quickly, but sometimes they can take their time. But you know, the interview process was pretty straightforward. One phone call, two virtual interviews, which is pretty much the standard with these days, okay? I know with their customer service jobs, they tend to hire for those probably like a few times a year probably about four times a year. So if you're interested in their customer service jobs, you can check those out. Those pay between $20 and $22 an hour, and they're not very flexible. So if you have a ton of experience and you wanna make more than like $22 an hour, I know for a fact that they're not very flexible with that. They're probably gonna still you know, start you off in that range. So keep that in mind. Their customer service jobs are very, very high contact. It's gonna be a lot of phone calls. You're gonna be on the phone all day. So, you know, it's the traditional call center environment. So if you do apply for their customer service job when it's available, definitely be aware that it's gonna be a lot of calls. But they have the issue management, senior risk manager, senior product manager, impact finance manager, RPS high value business card consultant, and the senior asset specialist. Let's talk about the senior asset specialist. This is a full-time job. You're gonna be helping build out new process and ensure that their data is accurate and trackable. You're gonna hold asset owners accountable to enterprise process and identify areas for automation. And you will be assigned targeted certifications, tracking processes, or governance objectives and you will be empowered to provide ideas for what they should start, stop, and continue doing. You would need a bachelor's degree or equivalent work experience with this job, at least five years of experience with the processes and tools and guidelines for overseeing and optimizing the costs and revenues for IT services, at least five years of experience with management approaches, tools, and techniques for managing IT assets, and at least five years of experience within a total information technology environment, okay? So I'm not sure what the pay is for this job right here, but I do know that US Bank will provide you with the equipment. So the next bank we have is Citizens Bank, okay? And Citizens Bank, they have really good remote jobs. They're very informative with their job descriptions. They let you know the pay and all of that. When it comes down to like entry level jobs, like customer service and things like that, they tend to have like customer service specialist jobs, fraud specialist jobs. They don't hire for those often, which is a good sign. That means that they don't have high turnover, but I would say they probably hire for those maybe like twice a year. And at this time, they have a few little jobs here, but let's go ahead and check out this fraud risk strategy, senior consultant. This is gonna be a very high paying job right here. And again, it's remote, it's full time, it's first shift, and you're gonna be accountable for monitoring and developing fraud risk strategies for merchant lending. You're gonna take the lead in the development of fraud processes, strategies, and control to mitigate fraud risk. And your responsibilities are gonna include analyzing historical data and developing fraud rules to mitigate and prevent fraud losses, working with vendors to implement fraud rules, monitoring fraud trends and rule performance, and collaborating with fraud operation, policy and product team to evaluate processes and new tools to enhance fraud detection and balance customer experience. So with this job right here, you will need quite a bit of experience. You're gonna need proficiency with data extraction, mining tools such as SQL, SAS or Python, strong data analytics skills using SAS or eMiner, prior experience developing data-driven strategies, and be proficient with Microsoft Office applications, advanced Excel, PowerPoint, strong problem solving and analytical skills, and excellent communication, and experience managing fraud or credit risk and five plus years of experience in financial services. You're gonna also need a bachelor's degree in operations management, mathematics, statistics, actuarial sciences, 
economics or other quantitative business or technical discipline or equivalent combination of education or business applied experience. They would prefer a master's degree and you're gonna be working 40 hours a week. You're gonna be working 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And this job has a pay of 110 to 135 k a year, okay? So great pay on that job. Of course, you're going to need experience. Okay, so next up we have Regions Bank, okay? So I have worked for Regions Bank as a teller, and I also have applied for their remote jobs. And they're a pretty good company. So one thing about them is they only hire from specific areas, so you would need to be in their footprint to work their remote jobs. So once you go to the career section, you search remote, and you see the jobs. Sometimes they have quite a few and they're going to be entry level to high paying jobs. And right now they do have a fulfillment solution specialist job. So they're letting you know the exact locations that you would have to be in to work their jobs. So in terms of their interview process, they only have like two interviews. You're going to have a phone call and then you're going to have a virtual interview and then they let you know if you're hired. So they don't waste no time. They don't play around with you. I will link my video to my Regions Bank interview process and all of that. I'll link that for you guys to check out. But yeah, with this Fulfillment Solutions Specialist job, you're going to be responsible for initiating transactions for Regions products and services through the utilization of direct calls and referrals from customer service and marketing leads, okay? This is a full-time job and you're going to need a high school diploma or GED, one year of experience in customer service and sales, and if you're applying for a position that will work from a remote location and not a Regions facility, they do have some technical requirements for you. They will be providing you with equipment. You just need to make sure that you have the internet speed and all of that that they're looking for. For training, you'll be working Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then you're going to be working 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday with a Saturday rotation after training. They have pretty good benefits. And if I do find the pay for the job, I will put it up on the screen for you guys. But yeah, definitely go ahead and check out all of these banks and check out the jobs that they have available. If you're interested in working in banking, these are just a few of the banks that have remote jobs available. Tons of banks have remote jobs available, including Chase, Wells Fargo. You can definitely check them out as well. I'll put their career section in the description bar for you to check out. You guys already know, if you have any questions, you can leave those down below. And of course, you guys know that I appreciate you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video and good luck to anyone and everyone who applies for all of these jobs.